Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for the third episode of our Maximum Mass Transit series in City Skylines. In today's episode, at the beginning, we want to fix a couple of issues that emerged in between the episodes. And after that, I'm gonna execute an evil plan many of you had in the previous episode. But first things first, we are running into a couple of issues which mostly have to do with the budget. What I already know is I'm gonna have to raise the budget for my power to 100% and we are also gonna have to raise the budget for our water supplies. The third huge problem seems to be death care and also the garbage. Garbage I'm actually gonna set up to 100%. The reason for that is the recycling centers don't have the fastest processing rate. And I'm actually also gonna upgrade the healthcare budget for my dead people. One more thing you recommended me to do is put the parks and plazas back to 100%. Well, it wasn't specifically 100%, but this way they will be working much faster and increase the happiness tremendously. Another thing I would like to do is get rid of everything I don't actually need at the moment, including the power lines. Some of these should be... yeah, let's actually redo this. I mean, we're still gonna need the connection over there, but I just want this to be a little nicer. And I believe, yeah, right there, there is a power line we can get rid of. With that out of the way, we should be good. Another thing I need to fix is, of course, include everything in the district right here, so the services work perfectly. Okay, let's try to unpause and see if most of these errors are going to be fixed. I want to see this number go down, as well as the dead people just hanging around. We can already have five horses, that's good. How many do we have in use here? Three of seven, okay, that's not too shabby. And in terms of garbage, we now have a processing rate of 24,000. That is actually really good in this case, even though we're not gonna use all the trucks since the garbage reserves are still completely full at this point. And I also see a bunch of people complaining about sickness. Uh, I mean, ugh, weak bastards, but you know, we're the good guy here, so let's give them something. Namely, a medical clinic that's just 400 a week, a little bit less since we have a decreased budget at the moment. Uh, let me put that right there. Everyone is happy. Hopefully they are gonna, you know, upgrade very soon. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, oh my gosh, this was actually really good. Good changes, I love it. The dead people have been taken care of and the garbage is going down. Uh, my budget is still at 3k a week, so pretty happy about the development right there. We might actually still run into troubles in our industry area. I might want to set up something better than a recycling center in this case. Or you know, we could just add a second one. It's gonna be financially worth it in the long run since we pay much less maintenance than an actual incineration plant. With the current development, we will have to increase the budgets all the time, so I'm not gonna tell you about every single change that I'm doing, just beware that I'm observing everything and adjusting the budgets accordingly. At this point, let's finally take care of the evil idea you guys had. I mean, eventually I will probably also have thought of it, but... <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 my evil laugh. <laughs> Gosh, why can't I do that? We have hundreds and thousands of people using this pathway every day and you guys wanted them to actually pay for this privilege. The privilege to walk. So we shall exactly take care of that. First of all, I'm just gonna get rid of the pathways. The second step is we wanna set up a district or a park area that is gonna go right here. Beautiful. I'm gonna call this park, there goes my money. I bet at this point you guys already realized what is going to happen with this area, but essentially, uh, if you don't know, we are gonna set up a park. Let's do a city park. And we're gonna have our main gate right here. Hold the phone, what happened with my name? I didn't confirm. There goes my money, that's what I'm talking about. We're also gonna add our side gate that is gonna go right here. And of course we now want to connect all of the pathways. Let's do this with a nice pathway. I'm still gonna try to make a nice park out of this. And in this case we wanna keep the route as short as possible. So there should be a direct connection. However, they're gonna have to pay for that. And I guess at certain points we wanna set up another side gate. I'm just gonna sacrifice a couple of people in order to do that. Let's have another side gate right here. Now this pathway doesn't seem to be connected anymore. Uh, can I, can I please, can I please do that? No, move it is again the same. Okay, I get it now. Whenever I reload, move it is going to be disabled. That's interesting. 
Actually, that reminds me, I wanted to set up a bicycle path anyways, right? People can still walk on the bicycle path, but they can also take the bicycle, which makes sense in this case. Uh, there we go. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Okay, well, this way they also have to pay if they just want to traverse over here. That's actually not the worst that could happen. As a matter of fact, I'm actually gonna make this official. If you wanna move from this road to the next road, you have to go through the park and pay as well. <laughs> And then last but not least, we want to do something similar. I'm probably going to set up another side gate right here. Let's actually do that. Going to need another road connection like so. Another side gate. Mm, let's have it here. Get this pathway connected and also... Yeah, we're still actually going to keep the old pathways there. But as mentioned, I want to replace them with the bicycle pathways. So you come right over here. They are more beautiful anyways. And it's still connecting, even though it looks a little bit weird. Once uh, Move It works again, I'm actually going to fix that. Now, just to have a little bit more space to place things down for the park area, we are going to expand it and then let's do some basic upgrades. You're gonna get a nice fountain. Of course, we also have a park cafe. We have toilets, restaurants, everything at your convenience. Should we have a chessboard somewhere? Sure, I think this is the perfect spot for that. Maybe a gazebo every now and then could also not hurt. Actually, do I have mod? Yeah, I also have a brown one. Uh, you get another gazebo right there. We have a climbing frame, so the children are actually occupied when parents want to take a coffee. If parents want to get rid of their children completely, they can use the very secure trampoline area. And then we only have props. Very good. So everything has been placed. Can I now actually get some money from that? Let's see how much they're willing to pay. Hmm. You know, actually, I'm gonna keep this at the normal rate. And then I want to observe if people are using the pathway in order to get from one end to the other. And then we're gonna raise the price and see if that changes anything. But at this point, let's unpause and see what people are actually doing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Without hesitation, they are using the park. <laughs> oh, I love this, I love this. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me actually see. Did we... <laughs> oh my gosh, it feels a little bit exploity, but this is vanilla. This is absolutely vanilla. Let's raise the ticket prices doubly as high and see if that changes anything. I mean, right now... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it changes anything. Uh, uh, and look at that, it already upgraded to level 2 and we get 9. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so stupid, I didn't do that from the beginning. Why didn't I think of that? This is absolutely incredible. How does the game even allow that? And we're not even at the maximum ticket price. Look at that. We already had over 1000 visitors. This is absolutely incredible. This is gonna make things a lot easier, I have to admit. Our income at the moment is 16,000 a week. All right, I take that. Oh my gosh, I mean, I knew it's gonna be exploity, but jeez, this is uh, beyond anything I imagined. This essentially means we don't have to be as careful anymore, right? Now I just have to wait for enough funds to accumulate and maybe fix a couple of issues, uh, such as not having enough garbage. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, what we could do at this point, since we have the garbage problem here, we're just gonna raise our budget, so the processing rate is gonna be much quicker. If we increase that to 150%, then we should be seeing, yeah, 30k a week processing rate. This is hopefully gonna help us out big time. Now we have to get rid of a bunch of buildings here. Of course, I missed that, but uh, what are you gonna do? How are you doing? Come on, guys, take care of the garbage problem. What is this? Not enough educated workers. Well, we have almost 900 students here. Our school is probably full. Yeah, maybe we are just gonna place down another school in this case. How about a community school? I like the idea of that. Let's have that right here next to our little park. The bouncy castle. And we get all the students very quickly. Mmm, good. There are only 250 spaces though. Yes, yes, yes. Just wait a little moment and you will get more educated workers. How is our park doing? 15,000 income. Oh, is that weekly? Yeah, that must be weekly, right? Everything is weekly in this game. Oh, this just became so much better. Wait, are you guys complaining? Are you? You know what? See ya later. Goodbye. You should have realized that complaining isn't a good idea after I made that park. Goodbye. You're not gonna be missed. 
This is absolutely incredible. I mean, I feel good and really bad at the same time, but what are you gonna do? I mean, this is absolutely possible in vanilla. <laughs> Our weekly income is at 19,000 almost. That's good. It took me a really long time in my previous Let's Play to actually get to that point. Oh, guys, this is gonna be so fun. This was actually a really great idea to start this challenge here. All right, then. I would say at this point, it's all about expansion and improvement. First of all, I want to get rid of the recycling center here. and I want to exchange it with something that actually does the job, the incineration plant. We are going to set that up. Hmm, let's see. Um, I'm actually also going to destroy my power setup here, probably. I mean, we're raking up 21k a week. Should be easy to go with something a little bit bigger and more powerful. So this would be 160 megawatts total, where the coal power plant only has 40 megawatts. We could also go with a solar updraft tower. I kind of like the idea. I mean, it's mighty expensive, 90k and 2.2 a week, but it might just be worth it. Let me get rid of my coal power plant and we're going to add the solar updraft tower instead. Next up, I'm gonna move my police station over a tiny little bit and I'm actually also gonna set up a crematorium. Ah, come on. I wanted, uh, let me actually see if I can set up the incineration plant right here. Yeah, okay, at least that. And now with our current budget, we should have a enormous processing rate. Wait, wait, wait. Nothing is happening right now. Well, we have 34 cars available at this point. Now, of course, our power is through the roof. Let's put that to... Let's actually go all the way down, see if that is still going to be enough. We have to observe this here. Come on, electricity. Oh, oh, that was just a tiny bit. So we're going to go up to 70% for the time being. And I'm actually also going to increase my water budget now. And with this new development, I'm actually tempted to put my garbage collection back to 100%. So now I guess we'll just have to observe these numbers. Maybe uh, the garbage is going to get worse slightly. But it should be taken care of in the industry area, that's for sure. Uh, oh, hold on, I have an idea. Maybe... Man, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> well, at least now we know the mod works, right? As a matter of fact, let's increase the district slightly. I'm going to go into this direction with another block. I'll give me... Oh, we have a fire going on somewhere. But I want another little block like so. And this should also be more industry, please. Let's check our services. Still doing good on the plumbing. I think that's going to work out. We are also going to set up a crematorium now. I'm going to do that in this corner. And I'm going to tell those guys to empty the cemetery. Uh, we only have 13 bodies in there. And before I forget, district, district. Yeah, I will have to think of that. Another thing you wanted me to do, which I don't think is necessary already, is add a secondary track for the cargo and the passengers. The passengers at the moment, they come right here and then use up the right lane. So only the trains coming from the district will have to wait and trains getting into the district won't have to wait. So it's not necessarily a problem in my books. Now, looking at this, give me the upgrades. You are already at level five almost. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Educate more citizens. Uh, you know what? We should totally educate more citizens. Let's get into university territory. We have a university right here, uh, which is considerably large. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, did we have some? Yeah, I, I guess this building was actually burning down. You know what? I'm going to purchase some land, namely everything that is around me. How expensive was that even? 6.8k? Uh, who cares? Uh, you know, give me, give me everything. I'm just going to unlock the first nine squares or so, so we have uh, plenty of building space. There we go. That's much better. That's already 29k. Okay, I need to be careful a little bit. <laughs> but with that out of the way, you know what happens. We uh, can get rid of more roads. I don't want any roads that actually lead in or out of the city. So everything that's going to be in my squares, I'm going to get completely rid of. You can go. I mean, that was actually a nice interchange, I have to admit. But you gotta go. It's all about public transport for us. Actually, with this intersection gone, there are gonna be no more cars on the highways at all. They don't have a way to get in or out of the city, so they're gonna always choose the mass transit setups. Even the cars that just go through my map in order to go from one city to the next and don't even have the intention to come here, none of that is gonna exist anymore. Amazing! That's what I'm talking about. This little road was actually bothering me for a bit. But let's set up the university right here. That's uh, the spot for it, I believe. Yeah, we even have the space for it. Absolutely wonderful. How many students can I take? Four and a half thousand. Holy cow. 
This is gonna teach you guys a lesson. <laughs> How is my park doing? Still good. We're already at level 5. As you can see, the ticket price by now is 40 bucks. <laughs> Ugh, gotta love it. In terms of upgrades, we're actually doing really well, also with the commercial area. I think what we need to take care of now is the industry. This needs to be upgraded as well. Uh, cemetery is, by the way, finished, so this can go. Uh, let's take care of a bunch of services. I mean, everyone is complaining about services, right? We don't really have healthcare here. We don't need that, in my opinion. Um, fire. Could be a little bit better, the fire coverage. But maybe we just increase the budget. Yeah, let's actually do that. Maybe increase the budget for our fire department. And if I'm not mistaken, this should have a considerable effect on everything. Those buildings should turn green, maybe? I'm not sure how that exactly works. I just saw it. I uh, increased the wrong budget. That was for... Th for some reason, I always think that is the fire department. But yeah, there we go. Let's check this again now. Nah. You see, lots more buildings are not as red right now. If we observe this for a little bit, this might already be enough for some of the buildings to upgrade. But let's dive a little bit deeper. Uh, public transport. I mean, we could send a bus through this. Or are they also gonna be happy about a park? I really wonder if I can make them upgrade just using a park. Bouncy castle? Let's actually do the carousel thing this time. We are gonna set that up right next... Oh my gosh, it's the perfect space. Right next to our cable car. And look at that. This actually really helps. Okay, I'm intrigued. Great. Ah, we can use that upgrade. You know, it's always a good idea to get your buildings upgraded before thinking about expansion. This is also going to satisfy your demands. Now, everyone who has troubles is, I believe, in the education process. Yeah, they're all in dire needs of more education. Uh, nothing I can do to speed that up. Except, you know, having enough schools, etc. Ooh, uh-oh. Did I just... I think I lost a power line somewhere. Yeah, holy cow. We actually have a thunderstorm raging or something like that. Hmm. I mean, sure, we're here, we can fix it, no problemo. Look at that. It was just a short blackout of about, I don't know, that was like three days or so. Uh, uh, we have someone with a sewage problem. Wait, someone has a sewage problem. Ah, do I have to unclog a toilet somewhere? By the way, we lost about 300 total vehicles on the map, and that is because none of the vehicles are now using the roads. Because, well, there's no meaningful way to actually use them right now. Another thing I was wondering, is somebody using that line? Just three people at the moment, yeah. The metro was probably not the best of ideas, you pointed that out as well. I think I might get rid of that in this case. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, help me, yeah, there we go. You can go away, you can go away, wonderful. By the way, my intention is not just to go with one meaningful way of transportation. We're gonna utilize all of the public transport options we have at our disposal. And right now, I believe I have to get rid of that metro line here as well. Yeah, there we go. It makes them actually a tiny bit unhappy, but I believe buses in this case uh, might be more useful. I mean, I still don't see a lot of private cars. We can check with the routes overlay. And um, there are, well, there are a couple of them, but it's just like... It's a handful, right? You know, I have an idea. What if we just added another mid-station cable car stop here and then we continued all the way to over there? That might be an idea. Give me another cable car. So this would be the end of the line right there. But we need to be careful. I want to place this probably right here. Hmm, this is gonna be a little bit ridiculous with the angle we have to take. But I want to test it. I want to try this kind of. I'm gonna need a little piece of road right there. Oh, look at that. Here are all the people uh, from the cable car. <laughs> oh, no, I'm actually not so sure anymore. Do they have to wait or not? I mean, I don't ever see people queuing up at the cable cars, but we might have to observe that for a little bit. Anyways, I wanted to add a cable car stop. Oh, actually, that doesn't make sense. I need the road to be right here. Here and then we want to add the cable car stop like so and I probably even need more space for that Hmm, so maybe that wasn't the best of ideas Maybe just a little bit slanted might work out better. We're gonna have that like so so the pathway Yeah, this should work out and then if we come in like so it's not even a too steep angle 
I like that. Uh, could I connect these in one go? So it's as straight as possible. Yes, yes, absolutely amazing. I love it. Okay, and now we want to connect to over here, which is not possible for several reasons. However, we might be able to somewhat get away with it. No, I don't think I will be able to go across the playground here, so I will have to move that over. And now we continue not destroying anything and space already occupied by that little gazebo. I knew I would regret placing this. Get you finished right there. Okay, so now we are actually totally connected with the cable cars. Right all the way over to the industry area. This is great if you ask me. What are you people gonna do? Oh my gosh, I have to... Oh, <laughs> they just took my park! Uh, let me actually see. That must have done something. Yeah, 27k total incomes from ticket sales last week. Now let's actually go into public transport and have a look at the overview. I literally don't see the people. So I'm not sure how they queue up or how long they have to wait for. But it looks as though we can transport a lot of people using the cable cars. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. With that change, I actually made a lot of people use the cable cars instead of going through the park. Ah, that is mighty interesting. Look at that. It dropped by 17k. So what we have to do is make sure... Uh, ooh, okay, I have an idea. What if we move this quickly out of the way and then we set up another road? Let me see. I want to set this up, hmm, but I need to be careful. Like we want to make sure this only connects to the pathway. Something like that. Is it connecting? No. Ah, oh, that's bad. Let's try this again. This really needs to connect to the pathway. I think I just managed to do it. I mean, I believe that counts as a connection. And then we are gonna move this right... Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I have to change a few things. So let me just get this finished. This freaking gazebo is just always gonna be in the way, I presume. There, I believe I managed to do it. It's hardly visible, but there's still a connection. I'm gonna fix whatever I can using the Move It mod uh, once I reloaded the game completely and it is actually active again. But for the time being, give me uh, that cable car and wrap it up. Yes. So now, if my calculations are correct, they are still gonna have to use the side gate right here and actually pay the ticket price in order... I mean, this does look a little bit ugly. So I, I do have to use the Move It mod to fix that, but uh, actually it doesn't count as hooked up. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, if I just add another pathway, maybe I can fix that. So just another connection like so. Oh well, that is definitely hooked up now, right? Yes, and people are using it again. Good, okay, okay. And you can totally see that actually fixed my problem. Now they're not using the cable car to cheap out or anything. And our budget should be going through the roof again. Well, it's slowly adjusting, I guess. It's enough. 17k, I can work with that. Great stuff. This was absolutely incredibly successful, I would say. So in the next episode, if we can keep this up, upgrade everything, we should be able to, you know, dive a little bit deeper into the mechanics of this challenge and actually take it to the next level. We're going to introduce boats. We're going to introduce planes. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.